Ah. Clay Cooper Experience, good morning. You went old school with the kickoff. The I did. play on music there. I did. A little long, tall. Excuse me. A long, tall Texan. That's right. Can you give me a little more? I, I, whatever I'm, you I'm need, feeling weak. I'm feeling very weak today. Well, you know, if it makes you feel any better, you're not looking very weak. Thank you, buddy. Tina drove so fast here that I'm so scared right now I can't hardly even talk. Hello? That's that's what I heard. Look, he's got you off. I was ready to get out. <laughs> I actually did say, get, let me out. She, I'll walk. I will we're, walk. We're coming down Rock Valley Road. If you're going to drive like this, just let me out. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not worth it to me. It's not even. worth death. I mean, I like doing the radio show, but I don't want to die over it. Right. Just let me out. I'm like, it's okay, honey. <laughs> but you're here. <laughs> His truck's a lot lighter than my Suburban. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. My Suburban has meat in the back. Yeah. His has she's, a bed. Yeah. She's afraid we're going to start... <sighs> Rolling, because he's driving like a maniac. Fish telling on the dry pavement. But, but you're oh. you're uh, adhering to all of the laws of the road. Yeah, you make it sound Speed like... Speed limits. I'm, she sounds, it makes it sound like I'm like, yeah, running stop signs and speeding all the way here. We're on the radio, honey. People he wasn't can hear running us. stop signs. You're yeah. the one who started it. I was just sitting here. <laughs> Quietly. True story. Pretty much how I was in the car, except for that one line. I love it when you go around the corners and with Tina and she's in the passenger seat. Like you turn one corner like two miles over. She's grabbing every handle and feet are on the dashboard. Even Caden talks about that. The one thing that I hate about mom when I drive with mom is she's always grabbing she's grabbing all the door handles and stuff like we're about to start rolling in circles or something. <laughs> He gets right on the curb, and I'm just waiting for my high knee to go flying. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I do. I do the. I've. I grab uh, handles when Caden drives as well. I, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. He's a good driver. Mm -hmm. But other than, did you ever hear about him backing into the light pole? No. That would have been with me, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Backing out of the driveway. He was excited. He had to go. He he was going to meet friends, and he wanted to drive to get there. And I said, okay, fine. He was very excited, and he pulls out of the out of the drive, and I said, "Caden, you're you're backing too sharp. You need right. to pull back out, go go out further." He wouldn't listen. He was in a hurry, and the next thing I know, kung, and we hit the light pole behind us, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, Caden, just calm down. You're you're going to be there in plenty of time." And so I don't. Did you get the video off, or did he? Where is the video? Did I, did he it, probably it, deleted it because you've been showing it to all his friends. <laughs> well. And sending it to them so they can all put it on their snaps and, and whatever they do. B-reels. Yeah. Kevin, when I show you this, you're going to be, how in the world did someone hit a light pole just backing out he of the... He just kept turning the wheel. He would not straighten out. I couldn't get him to straighten out. I kept telling him, straighten out, straighten out. Okay. Straighten out. I want you to play. put that over there and play that and hit, hit play. Okay. And then get it. Let it get close to the microphone so that the the, the, the listeners can hear the sound of the, oh, of, yeah, hear of the vehicle hitting the light pole. So he's backing out of the driveway. Stopped right now. Oh, he's waiting for that car. He's waiting for the car. Good boy. Yeah. Is he backing yet? Uh, he's backing again now. Okay. Oh, that light pole. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Uh, poor, sorry, Caden. <laughs> now, let yes. me ask you something. The light pole, you're backing out of what, a 50-foot driveway or so? Yeah. You're backing out. The light pole is a... Ja uh, it's in your yard. It's in the it's in the grass about five foot off the... Yeah, about three, four foot off the street. But it's about 20 feet to the east Yeah. or to the west of my driveway. You could send that to Cassidy if you want to. She can put that on the click. Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't that be a great social media post? Oh, it ain't like the light pole's like, uh, you know, it's easy to hit. No. Because it's not, right? No. He, he, it, how, how, long, how long have you lived there? Uh, we moved to town. We used to live out at Ridgedale. Okay. At, towards Big Cedar on Fruit Farm Road. Had a big lot of, you know, acre of land or so and. The swimming pool and the big house in the basement and then we decided we wanted to be theater owners yeah so we moved to town because it's because it was about a 25 minute drive out to right. where we live which i love we're in the country we only had a, a neighbor over here and a neighbor over there and then just pasture land behind us and it was beautiful right so because i'd rather live out right 
you know, not that I don't like people. I just like to. Well, you, you do know. like you you like people, but you also like your alone time. No, I love people, obviously, yeah. but I like you know I like to walk out on the back porch and pee off the back porch if I want. I mean, I do that here too, but the, the lady behind me gets offended. I would imagine. But anyhow, we moved to town when? Two thousand eight. Two thousand. It really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So my question yeah, is, it's been a while. how many times in that? What it was that? What is that? That's sixteen years. Has Wait, anybody hit that light pole? Yeah, that's two. Wait. Is that one? No, we moved here. 2009. Okay. Because we had Caden. And the... No, Kevin, that's been 24 years? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not good at math. You're not. Not today. Not today. 24. If, if we moved here in 2009... It's 2024 now. Maybe maybe you're the one who's not good at math. 13. Yeah. But if we moved here in 2010... Well, Andrew, you keep changing the date. What did you say? We that moved would be here 14 when? years. I thought we moved in 2009 because we bought. Oh, no, it would be in 2010 because we okay, bought the. Right. Well, I said I said 50. I said 15 years initially. Isn't that no, 20... we bought the first. We we came here when we bought the first <laughs> theater, I thought. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Anyhow. So oh, wow. 2007, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 15 so, years. So anyway, I say all of that to say. Yeah. How many times has anybody hit that light pole? Zero. Once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I, you, I think we. I wish I could show that on our Facebook page right now, so that's the people okay. can see that. Huh? No, I don't think he needs everybody to know. Oh. No, not everybody. Not everybody. Just all the thousands of people that's listening. Hey, but you know, going going back to you saying 